hi dear viewers in this video i am going to show you how to tune the pad controller but i am going to use the cycler nicolas frequency method to tune the pad parameters if you want to refer the cycler nicolas method one using step response method watch my previous video i have detailed explained everything about how to choose the KPK and KD values approximately using signal Nicholas method one and this is method two I'm using the frequency uh, response method to find all these uh, parameters of uh, the PAD controllers so let's start doing this so I am going to use uh, transfer function representation way so this is the way to include the transfer function model and uh, my our system is uh, represented as sys it is uh, a third order system let's take it as s plus one that is multiplied with s plus s plus five and s plus three just close this one and let us see what is the step response of the system and hit the F5 button to run this command. Yes. So this is the, the step response of the system. Here we can see that for a unit step input, the system produced um, um, a steady state value of uh, less than 0 0.07. And uh, we need to improve the response of the system for that uh, we are going to use the cyclon nicolas method 2. Um, in this figure so the plant process is the system so that produced the steady state output of 0 0.0 less than 0 0.07 value so before this plant i am going to place this uh, the pad controller and uh, the system has a unity feedback uh, a unity feedback and this this feedback is compared with the reference input and that uh, error is goes to the pad controller so now uh, let's see how to do how to find the value of kpk and kd value using signal colors method 2 okay here i'm going to insert a section i just keep kp equal to 0 ki equal to 0 and kd equal to 0 so put uh, 0 for all this uh, kpk and kd and my controller is pid kp ki and kd and uh, i'm going to put this controller just before the system so the step response of the feedback so that that is a feedback so this uh, this pad controller is connected in series with the the plan and there is a unity feedback so this feedback the controller that is connected in series so controller multiplied with the system so unity feedback is one and let us close this one now run this so this is the step response step response is zero because all the value of uh, the controller is zero now let us start with the uh, kp equal to one and yes this is this is the step response of the system when kp equal to one now i am going to increase this value of for the kp gradually by keeping ki and kd equal to zero i'm going to increase the value of kp gradually so select this one and click on that one right click and increase increment value and run selection and i'm going to put here 30 so i'm increasing the value of kp by 30 for every increment so when i hit this button it will increase the value of kp and also it execute this command let's see so what is the changes that happen in the step response so increase 
increase until it produces some some constant oscillation. Now the oscillation is not constant; it is settling. Yeah, now it is producing on oscillation. Yes, this is good. Now I'm going to change it again slowly for fine tuning. So I'm going to put here five. Yeah, see this one. Exactly yes. See this one. The final steady state value of of this plant is producing some constant oscillation let's uh, magnify this uh, steady state value just undock this one and open using this uh, editor and use this magnifier and select this one yeah see this one so this is a, this is the the step response of the system i'm selecting the final steady state value yes so from this one from this the final steady state value find the period of this oscillation so what is the time duration from one peak to another peak for that one just magnify this one from this peak to this peak so what is the time duration it is 1096.82 let us take it as 1098.2 so that is the difference 1096.8 so go back to the matlab and open a insert a section and let us find what is the the period at uh, the critical that is 1098.2 1098.2 minus 1096.8 1096.8 so this is the pcr so next we need to find out what is the value of kp that produce that oscillation that is kcr kcr equal to kp 191 so using these two figures so what is this value of uh, pcr just select this one and evaluate this is so 1.4 so this is 1.4 so, using KCR and PCR, I am going to find the value of KP, KI, and KD. So, let's refer a article that is related to um, frequency response, frequency method. This is the article I am referring. So, here you can see that uh, for a PAD controller, so KP is 0.6 time KCR, and TI is 0.5 time PCR, and TD is 0.125 times PCR. So KP is 0.6 times KCR. Point 0.6 times KCR. So let us put these two data just before KP and KC and K. And KI is so this is not KI. I will tell you what is KI and uh, KD. So TI is 0.5 times PCR and TD is 0.125 PCR. 0.5 times PCR and 0.125 times PCR. So these values are TI and TD. So, what is the connection of TI and TD with the KI and K? So, here we can see that KI is nothing but uh, just multiply KP inside this uh, 
and ki is kp by ti and kd is kp times td let us put this one so ki is kp by ti and kd is kp times td just uh, run this command oh this is error because uh, on the line 14 oh this is see this one this is capital so this should be also capital so run this one and we can see that yes this is this is the the step response of the system after tuning the the PAD controller using the the signal necrosis frequency method. Here you can see that at see that the finally the system is attained the final steady state value of number one. And uh, let us compare this one with uh, the step response of the system. Just use put figure here just to compare the pad values the pad the pad the system without pad and system with pad controller just hit the run button and here you can see that here we can clearly see that so the figure on the left hand side is the the response of the system without pad controller now in the second one is the response of the system with the PID controller, but the method I used is signal necrosis frequency method. So, so this is an easiest way to tune the PID controller. This is very simple. Just, just um, keep KB, KI, and KD equal to zero, and uh, slowly increase the value of KP. At one state, you can find that the system keep on oscillate, and you just find. So what is that the period of that oscillation and uh, the kcr is nothing but the critical value of the the kp that is the gain at which the system produced sustained oscillation and pcr is the the period of the oscillation and with these two values you can calculate all these uh, other other data such as ki and kd of the controller and uh, use this um, uh, thumbnail formula for uh, finding the ki and kd put everything in this uh, controller and uh, use uh, the step response code to find so what is the step response of the system when we use the controller just before the plant so this is one of the easiest ways and uh, for uh, the similar video just uh, keep watching and subscribe this channel and put and uh, click on the bell icon so for uh, any notifications thank you